Hello and welcome to the 12th episode of the Earth and Space Science 9 uh, series of the Knowledge Catalog. This 12th episode is divided into the following parts. Right, the first part is an activity on the sun and our daily lives. And then the second part is a discussion on the introduction and of characteristics of stars. And then the last part is an activity on what's your color, or what's your temperature. Okay, so uh, this uh, we're still working on the seventh learning competency, which is inferring the characteristics of stars based on the characteristics of the sun. If you want to follow through with your learner's module, you can open it in Unit 3, Module 3, pages 5 to 9. Let's begin! The sun in our daily lives. So I would like you to first analyze these uh, photos and then identify the activity that depicts, uh, that they depict, and then you have to also identify the role of the sun in them. Okay, so first uh, photo right here, the first item is right here. Okay, I'll give you a moment to answer this question, to, to analyze this photo. For the second photo, we have the following example. So yeah, these are uh, dried uh, goods, no? mga fish, uh, they're dried. Okay, so what do you think is the role of the sun in this one? Okay, for the next photo, what do you think is the activity involved in this photo? And what do you think is the role of the sun? Next, for the fourth item, what do you think is the activity being depicted in the photo? And what do you think is the role of the sun? Next, okay, so I would like you to specifically look at these devices right here on top of the roof. What do you think is the activity being, or what do you think is the concept being uh, told by this photo? And what do you think is the role being uh, played by the sun? And then for the next one, we have uh, okay, the following. So just analyze it for you, for yourself. Okay, so what do you think? Is the role being played by the sun? And what what is this concept that it is trying to uh, depict? And then for the last photo, we have the following. So um, this is quite obvious, I think. Okay, so what do you think is the concept being depicted by this photo? And what do you think is the role being played by the sun? Oh, I hope that you finalize your answers. Okay, let's uh, begin. Uh, answering them or siguro giving us an idea on what are the correct answers. For the first one, it is the drying of clothes. Okay, sa laundry, uh, sa laundry line, yung sampayan. And the sun's role here is its thermal energy allows the drying up of these clothes. Okay, para also to sanitize them. Actually, no, napaka-sanitizing, napaka-disinfecting din kasi ng sunlight. Kaya yung, yung bacteria na sa mga, ano, na sa mga clothes natin, namamatay din because of the heat of the sun. For the second one naman, uh, dried fish. So in order to preserve fish, in order to uh, make it last longer, uh, pwede siyang i-dry up. And that is uh, something that we uh, can use the heat of the sun for. Okay, so the sun can gi give us that thermal energy that allows the drying up not just of clothes, pero also of uh, fish to, uh, to, uh, no, to preserve it, to make it last longer. This is very important sa mga places na, ano, na talagang nagpaproduce ng maramihang fish. Okay, tapos at kumbaga they are preserving it so that uh, during those seasons na medyo matumal ang uh, catch, at least may makakain sila. Next uh, photo is uh, ito, clay, okay, pottery naman. So, ang ano, ang clay, uh, it has actually served so many purposes na. So, sa housing and even sa pots, ayan. So, yung sun, uh, it, yung thermal energy na in na ibibigay niya sa atin, uh, it is uh, something that we can use, okay? we can harness to uh, make clay uh, a bit tougher so that we will be able to use it for a variety of purposes. Next, a photo is photosynthesis. Okay, so again, uh, parang hindi ko na kailangan i-elaborate uh, kasi we're already, we're already through with this in the first quarter pa. Okay, okay so for the next uh, one naman is solar uh, panels. Okay, so solar panels are uh, tools, they're devices that have the, that have the ability to harness the solar energy and then turn it into electrical energy. Okay, actually chemical energy and then electrical 
energy. And then for the last photo, uh, for the next photo, um, the sun, uh, or I mean sunlight, okay, it has the ability to allow the synthesis of so many, you know, of so many uh, nutrients such as vitamin D, okay, para mas maging, ano, mas maging stronger ang bones natin for the functioning of liver, also for the, uh, it's also good for the functioning of uh, kidneys. Ayan. And then uh, the next one, and the last one is uh, green the connection of the sun and greenhouse effect. So the sun gives us its, uh, no, its uh, thermal energy, okay, so that we will, we will be able to uh, carry out those processes. Ayan. And then uh, its connection to greenhouse effect is so big, okay? Yun yung naging uh, last topic natin, di ba? Okay, nung nakaraan. Uh, ayan. So we're done with the first part, activity, the sun and our daily lives. Okay, now, um, the sun... It's one of the many stars in the sky. It's just that uh, it is our ano, our homie. <laughs> siya yung ano natin, siya yung uh, main natin na star. No? So we're all too familiar din naman with the night sky as it is shown in figure number 118. Yung blackness ng void and the twinkling gems that seem to wink at us when we look at them straightly are very familiar to us. Um, there are roughly around 200 billion uh, diamonds or, you know, um, when I say diamonds here, I imply the stars, okay? They are formed, they are also sustained, they die in the same way uh, that, uh, ano, that um, you know, organisms do. They are born, I mean, uh, the fact that they are born, the fact that they can be, uh, that they can live and they can die, that is quite uh, similar to how organisms uh, work, pero not exactly like how, or how organisms work, okay? So you know what I mean. The bright and immovable northern star called Polaris and the, su and the hot sun, they have different masses, they have different compositions and temperatures, they have different colors and masses as well as different sizes and brightness. Okay, pero ayun nga, uh, they all live, they all get born, okay? They can live and then they can die. Uh, with the same forces. Uh, they also have a history that is so unique to their kind. Ganyan ang mga stars. Okay, so malalayo lang talaga yung mga ibang stars kaya di natin, di sila gaanong nakaka-apekto sa atin. At ang star na talaga may super duper, mega sun, super califlagiristic na effects sa atin is the sun. I now we move on to the last part of this very quick session. What's your color and what's your temperature? What you would be able, what you should be able to do by the end of this activity is that uh, you should be able to infer the temperature and colors of the stars based on the temperature and color of the sun. So the materials you'll be needing for this one are uh, your sheets of paper or your uh, your science notebook and then a pencil. Okay. So uh, you have to study the following table of temperatures and colors of sun, uh, I mean of, of different stars, including the sun. So I'll be giving a moment to do that. Uh, you have to take note of their similarities, of their differences. Para mas madali na lang yung evaluation mo mamaya. Ayun, so nabis kayo ng, uh, ng manok ng kapitbahay. <laughs> okay, so I'll give you a moment. You can pause this video now. Okay, if you had decided to continue, let us uh, proceed with uh, answering the guide questions. The first question is, which among the stars in the list are the coolest? Okay, so select two of them. And then uh, tell me, ano yung mga kulay nila? For the next question, question number two, which among the stars in the list are the hottest? So you have to select two of them and then tell me kung ano yung mga kulay din nila. For question number three, uh, pakicompare mo yung sun with the, with the Polaris, okay, the northern star. So, uh, yeah, tell me what are their similarities and in what way are they, di are they different? And then, question number four, uh, you have to make your own generalization about the relationship of a star's color and a star's temperature. So, what I would like to give you as a hint is uh, think of the rainbow. Uh, yung pinakaunang color na rainbow is red and then followed by orange, yellow, green, and then blue, indigo, and violet. So, think of that. Uh, colors, and then think of the temperatures of the stars. Go ahead. Are you through? All right, let's now, uh, let's now continue with uh, answering those questions. So for the first uh, question, the answers are Betelgeuse and uh, Antares. So they are both red. They are the coolest of these, uh, of these stars. The next one for the next uh, question is Beta, Beta, and Spica. So yeah, they are both blue and they are considered to be the hottest in this list. 
Tan all charat. <laughs> okay, and then question number three. Um, our sun and Polaris, they're both yellow stars. In that way, they're similar. Pero ang Polaris is hotter by around 300 degrees Celsius pa. Because uh, the temperature of Polaris in this table is said to be 5,800 degrees Celsius, whereas the sun only has 5,500 degrees Celsius. And then question number four, the coolest stars are red and the hottest stars are blue. So as you can see, sa rainbow, red, tapos orange, and then yellow. Walang green, okay? Meron lang white, and then meron blue. And that caps up, okay, the, uh, that part of the uh, activity. Now we proceed with the next one. In mathematics, a greater than symbol is uh, like this, and then the uh, less than symbol is like this. So we use these symbols in uh, mathematical uh, sentences. So using these signs, Compare the following stars in terms of their temperature. And then you have to write the appropriate sign on the space right here. Okay, and then color the box box next to them with their appropriate star color. So what I would like you to do is to copy what is uh, right, right here, what is shown right here. All right, so go ahead. Answer this question. Next item, the la next and last item is between the sun and Vega. Okay, I'll be giving you now a time to finalize your answers. Are you ready to check your work? Okay, for uh, Betelgeuse and Antares, okay, Betelgeuse has a lower temperature than Antares, and then they are both red stars. And then for the la second and last item, the Sun and Vega. So Sun, the Sun's temperature is less than the temperature of Vega, and that the Sun is yellow, Vega naman is white. Ayan, so that's it. We're done with session 12. Okay, so this is Earth and Space Science 9 of the Knowledge Catalog. We're still working on uh, the learning competency number 7 and for the characteristics of stars based on the characteristics of the sun. You were able to finish activity uh, the activity on the sun and our daily lives. You were able to uh, listen to the discussion on the introduction of characteristics of stars. And then you were also able to, uh, know, to finish uh, the activity that is uh, entitled, What's Your Color and What's Your Temperature? Okay, so this is Sir CJ, and uh, I hope that uh, I will be seeing you along with the chicken of my neighbor in the next uh, in the next video, okay, in this uh, series, Earth and, Earth and Space Science 9 of the Knowledge Catalog. I hope that you're having a really, really good day. Goodbye.